Hello, welcome back to Oliver's Greenhouse. Um, at long last, I've got something really interesting to show you. I've been super excited about waiting for this orchid to come out and flower. It's finally open, two buds opened uh, off the flower stalk, and uh, yeah, only, only orchid growers really appreciate the uh, level of excitement uh, and satisfaction you get when something that uh, you've been waiting to flower for so long suddenly comes out. And uh, I, think, I think a lot of other human beings around the world are really, really missing out on that sense of anticipation. Uh, and I'm sure a lot of you uh, are going to be uh, as excited and enjoy this video as much as I already am. So it's, it's one of those plants you just can't stop looking at. So uh, always very hard to believe. So if you haven't guessed already, it's my Bulbophyllum Fascinator. It's finally out. It looks amazing, much better than I expected. Um, what I do for, uh, I should get, basically get you guys, move you over here, move some lights around so we can see it, and uh, we'll have a look at it. It's just here by my head, by the way, in case you can see that. So uh, let's get you moved. Okay, so here we have it. I actually have to hold the light up so we can see it. Um, I'll obviously do a bit of a closer up in a minute, but here's the plant uh, in its source. So I've actually turned it around, so it's usually facing the other way. But uh, the, here are the two flowers that have opened. Uh, here they are next to a, let give you an idea, this is next to my hand. Uh, there it's next to my hand. So you can see how big they are, and they are just an unbelievable shape and coloration. They don't smell, they have no discernible scent whatsoever. Uh, they've got the typical Bulbophyllum rocking lip, so the lips rock around on them. Um, yeah, absolutely stunning. What I'll do now is I'll quickly uh, move the plant down uh, onto one of the work surfaces here and we can have a close up. Okay, so here we have it. Hopefully you can see really close up, uh, or certainly if I move it just an inch further forwards like that, you should be getting a good, uh, a good clear image of the orchid now. Um, and I think that's just unbelievable. What an amazing looking flower. Uh, it's surrounded by, or the sepals are surrounded by these tiny little, almost like hairs. I just brush my finger against them there. Super light, and if uh, if uh, the, the slightest bit of wind makes them rustle, if I blow on it, now they're bright purple, which means that under ultraviolet light, these guys would really glow. So almost like little indicator flags, uh, and you'd probably be able to see the rocking lip uh, a lot more clearly as well. Um, and the, the actual tongues um, that come out the bottom of the uh, or the lowest sepals, lowest petals. Uh, they probably descend about four inches, five inches maybe, right the way to the bottom until they terminate. Uh, amazing flower. So, so typical Bulbophyllum, intermediate growing, lots of water, regular feeding, and then eventually, if you're patient enough, you get a reward like this. And uh, the, the savvy of you, of you would have noticed as well over the back here, there's another flower spike, see if I can focus in on it, over the back there. So there's another flower spike over here as well, so it's going to flower again. So absolutely fascinating. I just should be able to get a bit more of the actual flowering. Yeah, so look, I hope you've liked this video. It's just a little update, really. I know we've all been waiting for this orchid to open. I certainly have. I'm super excited to finally see it, and it hasn't disappointed by any stretch of the imagination. It's even more amazing than what the photos do it justice. Thanks for tuning in. Remember, if you like these videos and you want to see more, uh, don't forget to give us a like, thumbs up down below, and if you feel like it, subscribe. Thanks for watching.